Welcome back, YouTubers. It is Cool Science Dudes with Cool Jacks and Cool Daddy. All right, we got another science experiment here for you tonight. Yeah. We are going to do the color changing volcano from our My First Mind Blowing Science Kit. Again, big thank you to Aunt Katie and Uncle Brian for this awesome Christmas present. It is December 23rd when we're recording this, so it's Christmas Eve Eve, huh? Yeah! And we thought, hey, what a better way to spend a night than to do a science experiment, right? Yeah! Alright, so let's get started. So we're going to need a couple of things. First thing we're going to need, Daddy forgot the science kit over there. We're going to need that, aren't we? Okay. We're going to need our science kit. All right. Let's read through what we need for our color changing volcano. First thing we need is our citric acid. We need to remember our citric acid from one of our uh, science other science experiments, huh? Oh, from our Jiggly Crystals. Did we do the Jiggly Crystals? Is yeah. that when we did it? Okay. And our That's dancing the powder. Okay, the dancing powder. Well, see, this is why we used these baggies, because everything fell out into the baggies. So, that's okay. Good. Citric acid. What else do we need, Jackson? Baking soda, which we have right here. We also need, what's that word? Red cabbage powder. And here is our, whoop, that's not it. Here's our red cabbage juice powder. It smells horrible and it stains your fingers. What else do we need? Three plastic cups. Jackson, you want to spread those out for us? We also need a pipette. I'm guessing that's the pipette. <laughs> the medium scoop. Jackson, will you take the medium scoop? Yeah. The small scoop. Baby. And the baby. And a stir stick. Okay. All right. So. We did forget the pipette, which is our little measuring dropper. Okay, so we're going to get all set up. We'll be back in two seconds. Okay, now we got the camera pulled in a little closer so that you guys can all see what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, a couple things that we forgot to mention that we needed. Water, which we have in this picture. We also need a dinner plate, and it says we'll want a light colored one so that we can see the colors change. So we brought, got ourselves our white plate. And flour. I wonder what we're going to use the flour for. Yeah. Think we're going to make a cake? No. All right. Okay, here we go, Jackson. Let's get moving. We're going to bring all of our materials back. All right, what you do, add four medium scoops of baking soda. Uh-oh, we lost our scooper. Got it. Got it? Okay, we're going to need four medium scoops of baking soda, Jackson, okay. to our first cup. Okay? Okay. Remember, we can Remember we're Four medium scoops. Nope. You don't want to overfill it, okay? One, good job. Ooh, got to be careful. This is science. You don't want it to be overflowing. There you go. Good. Two, good job, buddy. Three, one more. Let's try that again. There you go. Four. Okay. 
Oops. <sighs> Got a little bit of spillage there, but that's <sighs> okay. All right, we're also, let's put this on back into our little baggie. Now, we're also going to take one medium scoop of the flour and put it into that same cup. That's the medium scoop. You got it. I think we're baking a cake. We're not. We're not. Too much. There you go. Good job. Nice job, buddy. And done. Nicely done. All right. I think we can set our flour aside. Okay, next, add two small scoops of the red cabbage powder to the cup. Uh, do you want me to do the red cabbage powder, or do you want to do it? You want to do it? I'm not going to smell it. You're not going to smell it this time? Because it will... The red cabbage powder comes in one bag, <laughs> then another bag, and then a third bag, because remember, it's not pleasant. Okay, do you want to do this, or you want me to do it? Okay, be careful. Woohoo, it's strong, huh? No, it's oh. okay. It's okay. 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 Good job. That looks like purple. Okay. Set that down. All right. Hey! Oh, you got it. Kind of all over our fingers. And one thing that we forgot to mention that we did bring over, some paper towels for messes. Because, you know, with two cool science dudes like us, we you never know how much, yeah, you never know how much mess you're going to make, right? Oh, uh, man, it's not coming off. That's okay. We'll wash our hands later. Yeah. You got all the dust off. Okay. Stir the dry powders to mix them together well. Stir. Try to stir out any lumps. Okay, Jackson, so you're going to take this. Stirring stick. Stirring stick. And I'm going to hold it, and you stir. Stir it all together. Nice and easy. You don't want to knock it out. We're going to bring you in a little bit closer for this part. Can't see what I'm doing. Good job. Don't just do a circle. Let's take a look at it and see if how it is. Try and get all the lumps out. Let's show the camera. See, now we're all stirred together. Now it's like a pink color, wouldn't you say, Jackson? Let me see. Kind of. Kind of. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like a pink color. All right, I think we're pretty well stirred. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next step, we're going to add one medium scoop of water to the cup and stir until the powder is moistened. Moistened? What moistened. does that mean? What does that mean? A little bit wet. You should have a crumbly paste. Okay, we've got a really big cup of water here. Hold on, hold on. All right, go ahead. Good job. That's it. One medium scoop. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're going to take our stir stick. You want to stir it? Mm, you can. I can stir it? Okay. That's been nice. Oh, well that was nice of you. Alright, we're making a crumbly paste. We're making a crumbly paste. Hi ho the dairy. We're making a crumbly paste. Look at that, guys. It's turning like a blue, a purplish blue. Yeah, it's like turquoise. It's a little darker than turquoise, I think. But it's, yeah, it's uh, like a dark turquoise. Like a dark turquoise, which is, you know, I'm not even sure what to call a dark turquoise. All right. Let's get it off the sides. Is it? We've made a crumbly blue paste. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, look, Jackson. You guys see that crumbly blue paste we got going on there? All right. 
Let's look at the next instruction. Oh, look. We've got an audience member over here. Rocco our cat. Rocco our cat. That's right. Dump the paste onto the plate. We're going to mold it into a mountain shape at the center of the plate. This will be our volcano. Oh, hmm. A volcano stand. All right. I'll mold it into a volcano shape. Hmm. Huh, is right. Mountain shape. That's... Well, I... With as much material as we have to work with, this is probably the most mountain shape we're going to get. All right. We're going to zoom in a little bit on this. Okay. Next. Stop filling with those cups, bud. All right. We're going to fill the second cup with three quarters of a water. You want me to do the pouring since this is a little heavy? No. Yeah, hold it on the table here. All right. That's ready? Yeah. Two, three quarters. Okay, we're going to set this down we're off to the side cut. here. Hold it. All right, so now we're going to take our red cabbage powder. Again. Again, and we're going to add three small scoops. Three small. I'm going to set this aside so we can see what we're doing. Jackson, will you do the honors, please? Three small scoops. Oh, you didn't get any. Well, I got a little bit. Careful. You're going to dump it. Put it in the water. One. Do we need three? We need three. That's looking like purplish red. Mm -hmm. Two. Nope, don't. Oh, buddy. Can't do that. Oh, you didn't suck. You didn't <laughs> Not a fan of the smell. Oh, man. Okay, you never want to use this as a stir stick. Because, you know why? Why? Because then when you go to use it again, it's going to get all cruddy when you dip it back in. That's why we have actual stir sticks, you know? Okay. okay. And now we're going to stir it together. You can do that, Ernest. Why don't you do that? Here you are. Can I do that? Here we go. Come on. Use that side. Use the bottom side. Mm -hmm. Stir to stir sticks. Mm -hmm. Good job. That is some cabbage juicy smelling water, huh? <laughs> you keep knocking over those cups. We're not going to have any cups left. I know. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. We're going to set this cup aside now. Okay. We're gonna, we need some warm water for this one. Our instructions didn't say that. We're going to get some warm water now. Warm. Quarters. So I'm going to go over to the sink. I'm going to get us some warm water. And while we're waiting, we're, I'll tell you what we're going to do next. After we get the warm water, we're going to put some citric acid in the warm water. Okay, there's our warm water. Okay. You just got me wet. Now we are going to fill. A little too much in. Okay, we're going to take four medium scoops of citric acid. Of citric acid. Do you remember what citric acid is? 
Citric acid is found in things like lemons and oranges and limes. Did you know that? And that's why we call those citrus fruits. Citrus? They have citric acid in them. That's correct. Yeah. You knew that, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do four medium scoops. What is it look like? Oop. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes science is messy. Okay, one. Don't let it touch the water. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Now we're going to clean that up. I'm going to set this aside for a moment and I'm going to clean up all of our citric acid we've got here. This is why we have this handy dandy mat, huh, Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the table doesn't get messy. Well, that's exactly right. So the table does not get messy. All right. Next step. <laughs> You've got some dirty fingers, huh? Let's show you. Let me see your hands. Look at those stained fingers. All right. Can I dip some in water? All right. Now we're going to stir this one up. Get all that citric acid all mixed in the water. That's right. Okay. What looks like an ice? Huh? Ice in a bag? No. What? I don't know, bud. Okay, next. Okay. Draw up some of the citric solution into the pipette and drop it onto the volcano. Watch this. Here we go. All right, I'm going to draw it up for you. Okay. You're going to squeeze the top of that onto the volcano when I say go. Ready, set, go. <gasps> Look at it go. It's full. Of... Can I do it again? Is it done? Okay, let's try it again. Let's try, I want to try something else. This says now, pour some of the purple water onto the plate, making a puddle around. We're going to pour some of that around. Okay, try that again, right on top. Right on top. Whoa, look at that! Look how cool. It looks like a snake. Mm-hmm. Let's see. This says, do it again. Drop some more citric acid onto the solution. You keep, can keep doing it until it's gone. Ready? <gasps> Look at that one. That was a good one. Again. Here, let's get some more. Okay, there I we think go. That's good. Now squeeze it hard right into the middle. Whoa, there it goes. Oh, How cool. My. It says try this. Find a spot on the plate where the liquid C is pink or red. Use the medium scoop to make a small mound of baking soda there. Watch what happens. You can keep playing with that. Watch. I'll get the baking soda. I can keep putting water on it. Mm -hmm. Even more. Okay, well, apparently that 
Now try it right on top of where I just did. <laughs> bye bye. Fun. I'm gonna do it right on that big bubble. I just did it right on the baking soda. Oh. That was fun, huh? Until it's all empty. All right. Okay, we're going to pause and clean up a little bit, and we're going to try one more thing, okay? Be right back. Okay, YouTubers, we are back. Now, I wanted to show you, you can make this without a science kit and without all this other fancy stuff. You can do your own volcano at home, and it's pretty easy. All I did was got, and got some baking soda, which we had lots of it laying around our house. And just to give it a little contrast, a little color, I took a packet of Kool-Aid and mixed it up in there so you could see it a little bit better. And I got our lava for the volcano. It's actually just vinegar, straight white vinegar, mixed with some red food coloring. <laughs> Makes our lava. All right, Jackson, for our grand finale, you want to give it a give it a whirl? Yeah. Where do I put it in? The middle? You're going to put it right in the middle. Let's get it all as much in our pipette as possible. That is enough? That should be enough. Yeah, it should Okay, be. Jackson. Hold it at the top. One, two, three, go! Dump it all out. Oh, look at it go! Look at it go! Squeeze it out. Let it go and then squeeze again. Okay. I'm gonna do Look it at all that volcano. Around. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it around so people can see. Can Daddy do one? I'm gonna do a real hard one. Ready? Yeah. Ready? <sighs> there you go. Give it a whirl. Let it go. Now squeeze it right on top. Isn't that fun? See, just a couple household items at home. You can do your own science experiments. <laughs> oh, it's getting getting awful lava -y up in here. And I will note that mixing grape Kool-Aid and uh, vinegar has a very odd smell to it. Huh, Jackson? Yeah. All right. So, from two cool science dudes who are going to continue to play with this, We'll see you guys later. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. What do you say, Jackson? Merry Christmas. That's right. And we'll see you next video. Give him a peace. Peace. Peace.